Assalamualaikum. Welcome back again to Chapter 10. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to The first one, find the regression line using the least square method. The second one, interpret the regression coefficient A and B. And the last one, produce Y equals to A plus BX using the regression line. Let's learn how to find the regression line using the least square method. Regression What is regression? Regression is we like to predict or estimate a relationship between dependent variable y and independent variable x. Let's take a look of an example, relationship between maths and economy marks. There exists maths mark on the x-axis and economy marks on the y-axis. These are called scatter diagram. From this scatter diagram, we can obtain the best fitted line. This could be done by using the least square method. It calculates the best fit line for the observed data by minimizing the sum of the square of the vertical deviations from each data point to the line. Because the deviation of first squared when added, there is no cancelling out between positive and negative values. The best fitted line is known as a regression line. Let's learn how to interpret the regression coefficient A and B. Just before that, let's learn how to find coefficient A and B. These two coefficients are given by two formulae. B equals to N. N is the number of paired observation times with summation XY minus summation X times summation Y divided with N times with summation X squared minus the square of summation X. A is equals to mean of y minus coefficient b times with the mean of x or summation of y divided by n minus coefficient b times with summation x divided with n. Interpretation the regression coefficient a and b. The coefficient A and B can be found from the best fitted line or the regression line. Y equals to A plus BX. A is the y-intercept of the line represent the point where the line intercept Y exists. Means when X equals to 0, Y equals to A unit. B is the gradient or slope of the regression line represent the change in y for every one unit change in x. If b is positive, y increases by b units for every one unit of x increases. If b is negative, y decreases by b unit for every one unit of x increases. Now we come to the final part of our lesson which is how to produce y equals to a plus bx using the regression line. Predicting value of y for a given value of x is obtained by making a simple substituting value of x into the regression line. Example, let's say we have y equals to 2 plus 3x. Make sure the unit of x and y data are in the correct terms. If we substitute x equals to 5 into our regression line, y equals to 2 plus 3 times 5, then we're going to get y equals to 17. Do remember, predictions are accurate only for a given data set. What does it mean by accurate for a given data set? Let's go deeper on this by learning interpolation and extrapolation 
interpolation. Interpolation is prediction within the range of values in the dataset. Meanwhile, extrapolation is prediction outside the range of values in the dataset. Let's see this graphically. We have some data set plotted in a scatter diagram inside the range of values from x1 to x5. Our prediction here should be fairly accurate. On the outside of the range, the prediction here is inaccurate because we have no data to support this firmly.